Hello everyone and welcome to the May video newsletter of Brainerd Public Schools. I'm Elaine Larson, Superintendent, and what I want to say today is we made it. Thank you. Thank you for being partners through a very, very difficult year. As I reflect over the year, I was trying to think of a way that I could end this year on a positive note and to think about what the future looks like at ISD 181 and for all of our learners. And I thought about going back to the theme of lemons that we had at the beginning of the school year when we said, if life gives us lemons, we're going to make lemon pie, we're going to make lemonade, we're going to do all kinds of delicious things with lemons. And boy, did we ever do that. But as I finish up this year, I feel like my little theme has kind of worn itself out a little bit. And so I was trying to find another way of saying thank you for your partnership, for your friendship, for your guidance, and for your support. When last week, my friend, Sheila Eller, she came to my office and she brought me a book. And the book is by Tom Heyrich, and it's called, What Do You Make? A Book for and About Teachers. And as I read through this book, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is exactly the message that I want to give. Because you know what? This year, everyone has had to be a teacher. Everyone has had to pitch in. Everyone has worked together to make a difference in the lives of our kids. Whether it's the teacher in the classroom, in distance learning, in the hybrid model, if it's the teacher that is packing the lunches, the food service director actually, who's packing the lunches and making sure that our children are getting healthy and nutritious meals. If it's our transportation department that's helping our kids do the mitigation strategies that they need to stay well. If it's the paraprofessionals that are helping to do many of the lessons. Oftentimes it was our parents this year who had to help and guide and support and work alongside the school district to help our kids be successful. Some of the other teachers are our administrative team who work diligently, our Board of Education, our community who supported us. So I want to read this little book to you because you are the teachers this year. You are the people who made the difference in the lives of our children. So let me begin. What Do You Make? A Book For and About Teachers by Tom Heyrich. The dinner guests were seated around a table discussing public education. One man, a CEO, decided to explain the problem. What, what's a kid going to do, he argued, when someone who decided the best option in life was to become a teacher? You're a teacher, Kristen, he said. Be honest. What do you make? You know what I make, Kristen said. I make kids work harder than they ever thought that they could. I make them feel that a C plus is like an Olympic gold medal when the student gave everything that they had. And I can make an A minus feel like a knot in the stomach if the effort wasn't the very best that they could be. I make kids apologize because they know that it's the right thing to do. I make them write and I make them read, read, read. How do you become a good reader? You read, read, read. I can make parents tremble in fear when I call home and then revel in the joy of the message when I've shared all of their child's accomplishments. You know what I make? I make kids wonder. I make them question. I make them criticize with a view towards improving a situation. I can make kids sit through 40 minutes of a study hall in absolute silence. I make them show all of their work in math and hide it all on the final draft of their English essay. 
I immerse them in music and art and in the joy of performance so that their lives are rich, full of kindness and culture, and they take pride in themselves. I make them spell, believe, and success over and over again until they will never misspell either one of those words again. I make them understand that if you have brains, and they all do, then you need to follow your heart. And if anyone ever tries to judge you for what you make, you pay no attention to them. You know what I make? I'm a teacher, and I make a difference. My friends, thank you. Thank you for being the difference makers. This has been a hard year, but we made it, and we made it because we worked together. We did our very best to be the difference makers in our kids' lives, and it shows. We finished as strong as we absolutely positively could, and we had a fantastic ending to this school year. So once again, I want to say thank you. I want to wish you a wonderful summer. Please get some well-deserved rest, relaxation, and have some time with your family. And we will look forward to August when our kids come back, our teachers are back, and we can be back in person. When things can kind of go back to the way they used to be, where we can spend the time that we want with those we love and just enjoy the difference we make in the lives of our kids. Thank you for being teachers. Thank you for being the difference makers. This is the most important role in the world. Have a great summer.